There goes Jacob. Well, I tried to get him to honk. They're hauling tree length off that job I cut back in. Must have been beginning of December. Oh, so I'm up here today, or this evening, late today, trying to help the chipping crew. I broke a cylinder on the loader leg. Well, the breakdown ferry must have worked yesterday. <laughs> I'm guessing this pin came out and cracked this cylinder. I'm not done welding it. I just and the pin came out and when he well, it must have come halfway out and torqued the boss of the cylinder and partially broke it. And then when he lifted it, it, it hit there and finished it off. Right, Dean? Right. <laughs> well, Dean was just up there touching up the knives. They are getting a little dull. As long as I was up here with the grinder and welder for a generator. So my Monday morning started off 5.30 with a text from Bill. Bill wasn't feeling well enough to work today. So had to do some changing around. We got Brandon, who was supposed to run that dilemma today. He came down and ran the 2154 today. So that was nice of him. And then that ended up having a loose hose. I was gonna look at how bad these sprockets are. I need to get new chain and sprocket on here. They are bad. So I can put the, the guard back on it. So yeah, the the, I, the Chimco's got a bad idler on it. I ordered one of them today. What else happened? The limber went down. Yeah, I don't don't put the torch away just yet. Huh. Brand new pad on the Timber King. Hasn't even worn a paint off it yet. Uh, then the a chip trailer, the valve that runs the floor forward or backward or neutral, that blew out. So I had to run down to Rapids to Rapids Hydraulic. And they said they didn't have time to fix it or the parts. So I ran down there, I put two O-rings in it, and the hopper is unloading it right now, so that's good. What else? Oh, he's got a flat tire or a low tire on the trailer. Getting that fixed now, I would think. This is all he's got left to chip right here. And then we can move down and chip a uh, sale we didn't finish last winter. Oh yeah, and just pick up. Something happened to that this morning. Something about the transfer case. I don't know. He he never did make it to work. His pickup, he never even made it out of his yard. I think they towed it to a place to get fixed. So yeah, the breakdown ferry has been busy. And the reason the Timber King and that limmer are here is to cut this island. That's a 50 foot tall island out in the middle of the swamp there. And there's some tamarack and spruce over here that has to be cut yet. So I had to move them in here to cut that that block that I couldn't get to when, during the summer fall. So now that it's kind of frozen, I don't know if you can see. Let's try to zoom in. Maybe you can't. Right there. Tried to freeze down an access over to that island. I'd like to skid that wood over here and deck it here so we can pile it along the road and just leave it and haul it next summer. Oh yeah, and Dean's got two new batteries that I picked up to put in that skidder. Yeah, it's just been uh, <laughs> a heck of a day. Oh, uh, truck didn't start this morning because it wasn't plugged in. Jeff's pickup, a limmer had a leak, bad idler on the Timco, chip trailer had a leak. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a day. Hope you guys are having a lot better Monday than I did, or we did. 
have a great day